Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. How to easily sew leather with a speedy stitcher sewing awl. Now the speedy stitcher is a very cool uh, little device that makes sewing very thick material very easy. So you can sew low, uh, leather with it, canvas, anything like that. Um, it's also made or versions of it are made from a couple of different companies but basically they work the same. They do come with instructions, uh, although if you're like me uh, and a visual learner, it, sometimes it's easier just to watch one of these YouTube videos. Now, I'm going to start by making a groove in the leather. You don't have to do this. This is a very basic leather working tool and it creates a groove that the thread will sit in. So the finished product, uh, the thread will not be above the leather and, and it won't fray during use. Another basic leather tool is just a uh, stamp which dictates where each stitch is going to be. It's a very uniform uh, size, very easy to follow. Neither one of those is mandatory. This is a little trick of the trade. When sewing thick leather, I find it a lot easier to use a 1 16th diameter drill bit and actually drill those holes. Um, so what I would do if this wasn't just a demonstration is I would glue the two pieces of leather together with rubber cement and then I would run that 1 16th diameter drill bit through each of those predetermined uh, spacers. And that's going to make pushing that all uh, through the leather much, much easier. Now this is the Speedy Stitcher uh, sewing all. If you unscrew the front cap, you'll notice that there's... Um, storage there for a couple of additional needles. You'll also notice that there is a groove uh, not only in the tool but also along the one edge of the needle. Now we're going to call the edge of the needle that has that groove the front of the needle. And that's going to be important a little bit later as we start to, to sew. Probably the most difficult part of the whole project is just threading the needle. Anyway, once the needle is threaded, you're going to put that cap uh, back on. That has to be secured fairly tight uh, because that is also the clamping mechanism that, that clamps the needle into the jaws or into place. Now, as we work, ourself, uh, work our way back along that tool, there's a little knob. Um, that's a tensioning knob and then what they want you to do is wrap the thread around that tensioning knob um, so that you can apply tension when you're pulling each stitch tight. I don't use that. I find that when I do use it, um, it's too much tension and the, the cord actually frays on a, on a sharp edge on the needle. In the back compartment, uh, there's a spool and you basically just wrap the, the thread around that spool. I also don't use that because it's a limited amount of thread. If you're working on a big project, you can run out, you know, without even seeing that you're about to run out. So I basically just have the thread come out the back of the handle to a full spool of thread. Now we're going to start to sew by pushing the needle completely through and then backing it up a little bit and it creates a loop. Now for the first thread, you want to grab that loop so that you end up with an end on the left side or on the back side. Then with that needle facing forward, which means the groove facing forward, you're going to push the needle through the next drilled hole. All the way through, then pull it back a little bit. It will create a loop. And then you just take the end of the thread. You want to do all of these exactly the same. Come up through that loop and over the top of the needle and then pull the needle back out pull it tight. If you do every one exactly the same, all of your sutures will come out beautifully. Needle facing forward. You don't want to turn this in like a drill bit. You want to just push it straight through. Up with the thread through the loop over the top of the needle and pull that tight. Now I'm going to show you this from a couple of different angles. So this is from the front of the workpiece. I've got my leather uh, clamped in place. I'm going to pull the end through on the first um, stitch so that you have end. The amount of thread that you need on the back side should be slightly more than the length of the material that you have to sew. So if you're sewing, going to sew 12 inches, you probably want to have about 14 or 16 inches of thread uh, dangling off the back end. 
each suture you're going to pull tight and then with the needle facing forward you're going to advance one hole and repeat the process put the end through the loop in the back over the top of the needle pull it tight a very simple and efficient way of sewing uh, this particular tool I use it for making knife sheaths so using fairly thick leather and it does it it does a really nice job just one more different angle one more different angle and then I'm going to show you how you um, you finish up the thread at the at the tail end of the work Now I always do it the exact same way. I feed the thread up from the bottom over the top of the needle, pull it tight, needle facing forward, push through, pull back a little bit so it creates that loop. My thread goes up from the bottom over the top of the needle and I pull it tight. Now, when we get towards the end of the work, you're going to want to back thread this a little bit just to secure it. So this is actually the last stitch. I'm going to do this one just like every other stitch. And then I'm going to back up. So I'm going to back up one hole. create my loop, put the thread through the loop, pull it tight, one more hole. I like to do at least two. Now I'm going to grab that thread on the back. You can use an awl or a pen, any way you can grab it. Pull the needle out and then you're going to cut the thread on the needle side and then you're going to pull it through. So you're basically going to end up with two ends of the thread on the back side of the work. And those you're just going to tie into a knot. And then depending on the thread, if it's a nylon thread, you can just melt that a little bit and fuse it together. But it really is as easy as that. A very, very simple way of sewing heavy material, canvas, leather, etc. This was actually my very first project using uh, the Speedy Stitcher sewing wall. Threads came out very nice. I was very happy with the end result. Picture of the finished product. Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos, including knife making videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.